<laughs> the title of it is Christmas, but the gift was forgotten. Mm. Christmas was almost here in Brady. Everyone was so excited. The usual was taking place. People crowded into the stores trying to find a good bargain. The children's toy store seems to be the busiest at the moment. You had couples shopping for family and friends. The kids trying to find the right toys and the young people shopping trying to find the right gifts for their parents and friends. Oops. Don't forget about the boyfriends and girlfriends. Shopping seems to be quiet and experienced for some. Everyone seemed to be shopping. Man, I tell you, it was really busy. As I was walking down the street, I, you could see all the decorations that had been put up. There was the reindeers out in the front yard. You could see Santa Claus on the chimney and huge Santa's in the front yard. Christmas bells wrapped around the trees and candy canes all over, all lined up in the yard. Boy, decorations were everywhere. The Christmas trees was all lit up in the window. You could feel the excitement in the air. But one thing was missing, and that was the Christmas spirit. I wonder why. Here's how the story goes. This story is about a, the Finland family. They were an ordinary church-going family. Everyone went to church. There was the husband, James, not your pastor, and <laughs> <laughs> wife, Mary, oh, okay. three, three kids, Kathy, she was the baby, she was five, and there was uh, Josh, he was 17, and there was Linda. It had been a very tiring, tiring week for James and Mary. They had been working long hours because of the Christmas holidays. They were trying to get in as many hours as they could so they could have some extra money to spend for gifts. So that Friday when Mary got off from work, she started making out her list so she could get the invitations sent out. She needed to know who all was coming, so she sent them out early. She had invited a few of her friends over also. I hope I haven't missed anyone, she said. Now since that, now since I'm finished, I can get started on the next project, and that was the menu. I know I'm going to have turkey and stuffing. It wouldn't be right if that wasn't on the table, along with the cranberry sauce. Mmm. And don't forget the dessert. The family loves the old tradition of fruitcake. <laughs> but you know, I found out sometime later that lemon cake is about to top the fruitcake. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. She makes a I got two sisters that are coming down from Atlanta. Got to get the rooms ready for them. They come every year by Christmas. Now, the last thing on my checklist is. <coughs> now the last thing on my checklist is the gifts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that night James and Mary were deciding on the gifts that they were going to get for everyone. So when they finished they relaxed and went to bed. So the next day was shopping day at the mall. <coughs> After James and Mary finished, they stopped by the ice cream parlor and had a cone of ice cream. Then they went home and wrapped the gifts while they were wrapping the gifts they were talking about tomorrow's dinner. Before the kids came back from shopping with their friends. Christmas Eve, James and Mary and the kids just spent time together around the fire. Christmas morning, everyone got up and ran into the living room and sat around the Christmas tree wondering what he or she had got for Christmas. Oh, it was such an exciting time. 
So as they were giving gifts, they said, Dad, we got you this gift for <coughs> we got you this gift. For you and Mom, we got you this one. So they thanked the kids and gave them a hug. And then came James and Mary, <coughs> excuse me, and then James and Mary went over to the tree and got the three gifts that they had bought for the kids and gave them their gifts. Johnny said, Mom, Dad, there is another gift under the tree. So he read the card and it said, do not open at this time. No name. So they left it alone with a question mark. I wonder who could it be for? And they went on starting to do other things. As the people started to come in the house, it was starting to get crowded. As the last person arrived, they talked they looked, they talked a little and then went on into the dining room. As everyone was standing behind their chair waiting for Mr. Finney to bless the food, they noticed there was a chair that was empty. They were wondering who did who didn't show up. So Mary went and got her list to see who was missing. As she looked around, everyone that was there were on the list. Kathy's speaking, Mom, it's for a surprise guest that I invited. Her mother asked, when is this person coming? Don't worry, Mom, he'll be here. Remember, Kathy is the baby girl. Bob, go ahead and bless the food. So everyone was seated. They was chatting and laughing. Then there came a knock at the door. So Mr. Fenner got up and answered the door. And when he opened the door, there was a there was this gentleman standing standing there. He was dressed he was dressed strange. So Mr. Fenner looked at him and turned around and looked at his wife. He beckoned for her to come up and come to get up and come to the door. So while she was getting up to come to the door, Kathy got up and rushed past her mom to get to the door first. Kathy said, it's Jesus. He got my Christmas invitation. And when her mom saw the gentleman, her mouth had dropped open. <laughs> Kathy, when did you invite Jesus to our Christmas dinner? Sunday, when the pastor got through with the Christmas sermon about Jesus and made the altar call. When I went up there, Mom, I asked him to come into my heart and save me. Praise and he did. Yes. Then I heard him say that it was Jesus' birthday. So I thought, why not invite him to his birthday party? Amen. Amen. After all, if Jesus hadn't came to die for our sins, it would not be no Christmas celebration. That's right. That's right. Knowing all of that, he done for me. I didn't want to leave him out of the special occasion. Jesus finally speaks. Hi, may I come in? Jesus said, I had knocked on several doors to see who would invite me in, but no one did. There was this one house where this lady came to the door and asked me what did I want. And I said, to come to dinner. She said, sir, we don't invite no one that we don't know into our home. Besides, we're having Christmas dinner with our family. So I turned and left, and I came here. I knew I was, in, I was welcome here because I got an invitation. Mr. Finn walked Jesus to the, other, to the other end of the table and seated him. Jesus, Kathy said, I got you a gift. So she ran and got it and gave it to him. And he opened it up and pulled out a Christmas card. And it read, Jesus, I love you, and I'm glad you came today. Jesus responded and said, A little child shall leave them. You see, Kathy realized what this was all about. So she invited me, Mary. You see, it's nothing wrong with celebrating Christmas with family and friends. But just don't forget the reason for Christmas. That's right. Amen. I noticed that there was an empty setting at the table, and no one knew who it was for. But Kathy, as your family, as your family was opening their gifts and noticing there was one left under the tree, 
Was anyone interested in knowing who it was for? Kathy saved up her money to get me a Christmas card to let me know how much she appreciated me. Yes, I noticed all the warmness and all the cheerfulness and all the chatting at the dinner table, but it wasn't about me. Yes, everyone was thinking about their friends and family. And no, there's nothing wrong with that. But don't forget about the reason for the season. Remember, Christmas is great to celebrate. Celebrate. Just remember the gift. Yes. Amen.